guys. It's Motivational Monday with Dr. Meats at the Weight Management Clinic. We are talking about goal setting. You know, this is a big thing we talk about in January, but now that it's March, we need to kind of relook at some things, whether it's day-to-day goals or long-term goals. What do we do? I know it's kind of a big thing in January, but March is still important. It's very important, as you say, to look at the goals that you set in the past to know what the goals in the future need to look like. And, and uh, you know, we do our best, and we've talked to you already about setting reasonable, realistic, and gradual progression kind of goals. And sometimes when you haven't quite done it exactly as you thought, you might think that it's a failure or that you didn't do it. And, and, and I think it's really important to take a really objective look at where you were in January with it, if it's health goals, relationship goals, whatever it was, uh, career goals. And you did, it did change since then. And and it's, we call that a realistic appraisal of your progress, what's happened, what didn't. And, And it's not about right or wrong or success or failure. It's just, that's your true reality, right? Whatever happened is 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 factual and now you look at that and look at what got in the way and then you can turn your your lenses forward and start looking at was that a meaningful goal that i set or is the reason that i didn't achieve it that it, or i only achieved half of it maybe i only liked half of it you know it, it's okay and, and then you just think okay what's next and, and goal setting is always a what's next if you think throughout your whole life whether you knew it or not, you were setting goals nonstop. And, and I, I think people, even people that appear to just be drifting and not really heading towards anything, there are goals. It's either just to get out of bed in the morning and go down to the beach if you're that lucky or whatever it is. Uh, but it, it, there, you have a goal every day when you wake up and understanding what that is and what it's been helps you understand what your future goals might look like. When we make these new goals and we're talking about them and thinking about them, is this something that I need to be thinking about every day and like writing about it? Or is this something maybe I check in every once like week or so? Because for me, sometimes the months fly by and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already March. How did this happen? And then all of a sudden it's summertime and we're like, okay, this is really crazy. It was just January. So how do we know if we're keeping up with these goals and putting enough time into it? You, you bring up a point about writing things down, and I think that's important. Um, a lot of people think uh, that people might get bogged down in that, but sometimes it, it's really helpful just to quickly jot down what you're thinking of. And yes, there are you know, gra- layered goals is, is what we talk about. The idea that, that you need a goal for today that build, might build to a goal for the week that would build to a goal for the month, et cetera. And when we do health coaching or, or life coaching, we're always looking at sort of what's the most immediate set of goals that we're planning for. But we create a vision for five, you know, several years down the road. Even. Uh, I've never been good personally at five-year plans, but Eh, three-year plans or, you know they, I can get there a little bit I can kind of see ahead and so go with where your vision lands is one way to look at it and then think well if I'd like to if you think about we have a lot of college students here in town and, and um, I think some of them still watch TV so, um, the, or they're streaming us that would be great but you know at that point in your life it's very natural to have a three or four lo- uh, year timeline it would the five year doesn't make any sense. If you're five years from retirement, five years makes a lot of sense, right? So, you know, setting out, but it's so important not to get caught up in the future vision without having tomorrow's step towards it. Yeah, I think the best example of that is for me with, you know, maybe trying to work out, it would be like, okay, I want to, you know, get active today, then maybe start at 10 minutes and then 20 minutes and then add up and then maybe your final goal is losing so many amounts of pounds and so that kind of all goes together and layered like you talk so thank you so much for being here my pleasure don't go anywhere we'll be right back